Thanks, Don, and uh, you know, I just want to extend my welcome to all of you here this year for the 2019 Georgia Christmas Festival. We're so excited you're here. I uh, understand we have 25 states and the U.S. represented as well as Canada. Uh, thank you for those who came from all over and I uh, appreciate your support and appreciation for what I consider the best amusement park in the world. Uh, we're only Canadian fans. We're here all over. Welcome to you. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you visited our sister park in Toronto and as well. Yeah, 
uh, I'm so proud of you know, maintenance team, landscaping team, and everything they put into you know, bringing back some nostalgia with the empty cars. And, and so far, it's going to be a good The other thing is, you know, we looked at the national street and said, you know, it's getting kind of tired, getting kind of old working, so we wanted to bring back you know, in a new way, you know, a, a much better look of the national street. We painted a lot of buildings, you know, putting some stencil in the back of the buildings, uh, flags representing the countries, you know, the original international street representing which was Italy, Germany, France, Spain, and Switzerland. So, you know, also restoring the fountain. And I'll say, you know, the fountain was in operation, been in operation since day one, but, you know, we're, we're almost finished with. You know, all the programming, everything was going into the brain. Right, I saw the other night, uh, it was Wednesday night, came in for a three year old. And what we're going to see is the film show, choreographed with fireworks, etc. It's, it's going to be phenomenal. And the rock is still. You know, I'm so proud. You know, some of you saw that. Who did the chicken dance? You know, I have seen so many guests, you know, doing the chicken dance, and, and I just have to, I grin, and I chuckle every time I stick with this room. You know, it's just one of those little things that, you know, our tech services team, our, our sign shop, our painters, fireplace people put so much time and effort into restoring that and bringing it back. So, uh, then in addition, you know, we're rethinking a restaurant, we are here from Chef Major, uh, Chef James Major, right after I get done speaking. Uh, we came a restaurant to Blue House. It's getting great reviews. You know, Chef and his team are a great job. And finally, you know, I'm very excited. Those of you that are from the area that, that uh, will be able to come back June 15th to July 7th for Grand Carnival. It is going to be so special. Thank you. We've got some great questions rolling in. Uh, the first one is, uh, what is the most amazing part about Kings Island that you love the most when you're here? You know, it's, I mean, first of all, you know, some of the issues, <coughs> the changes I just described to you. And I'll, I'll tell you a funny story. So, we got a lot of criticism, you know, both internally, and, and from all of our fans about taking the trees out of the ground. And I will tell you, you know, we, there's 22 brand new trees around the fountain, more trees than we had before. So every evening after we planted those trees, I would go out on the International Street you know, before I got home from work. I, would, I became the tree whisperer. I'm like, please, go on. I want to see leaves, a scroll, you know, the leaves are out, the trees are going to be gorgeous, particularly the fall, the autumn, autumn blades and maples will be a nice, bright, dark red in the fall. But other than that, you know, what I enjoy the most is walking the park, interacting with, you know, our guests, as well as our associates. You know, and I know some of you, you know, so, uh, I do pay attention to social media. And I see some of the comments, and I want to thank those of you who say, you know, take the time to thank the associates of King's Island for the work they do. And I'm telling you, that means so much to them, you know, when they get those compliments. So thank you for that. Ready to go? Ladies and gentlemen, don't let me just see on TV and Julio. We're not scary. I think that's kind of choked me up a little bit. Thanks, Mike. Hey, uh, so. First of all, I want to first of all think this is year two. You can see I feel a little bit more comfortable, maybe for the folks that were here from last year. But um, first of all, I just want to thank each and every one of you for the amount of support um, that you have given us in the food and beverage team this past year. It has been such a motivation. Just keep moving, moving that uh, dial and keep uh, striving forward. So I just want to applaud all of you for this wonderful support that. Uh, you've been giving us. Uh, so keep it up, keep it up. You know, uh, 
I, I was, uh, we get the trade emails and things like that. You know, me and dude, I'm not from the music parks. So you guys probably know I came from baseball parks. But we all had the same awards. And uh, I saw this thing come across, and it was the Golden Ticket Award. And I was looking through, I'm like, all right, it's probably a rise and things like that. Then I saw the third thing. And I went, oh my God. Oh my God. We can get a Golden Ticket on the best food in the music parks. So, um, so that's where we are, is, and uh, that's our goal every day, is everybody that comes in is to have just a great food experience. You know, we serve uh, millions of people a year. Um, we're really proud of the stuff we've done. You know, has anybody been out to the new uh, brew house? Woo! Right, right. You know, uh, I, got, I got to tell you, I got Chef Nathan over here and the rest of the food and beverage team that really, we really pushed forward and uh, wanted to make sure when you you sit in the brew house, you know, when you come to the amusement park, I always say when I was younger, is you could get a break away from the regularness of life and you can transport you to a new place. You can imagine you're on a fire pilot plane or something or you're racing through the coast. I always had a good imagination when I was a kid. And, uh, but, you know, the idea is when you eat the food is to kind of transport you to that, hey, I can't believe we're in a music park eating the food. This is a music park food? That's what we're going for, everything we touch. As much stuff from, uh, you know, we're, our burgers now are uh, Ohio, Ohio burgers. So these burgers are, the, the cows are raised in Ohio, they're, uh, they're packaged in Ohio, and they're fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Everything we can do. Uh, we have a produce company now. It's coming from 100 miles. So whenever we can get that to Ohio, and it's a produce, it's going to be a fresh produce, and it's locally grown. Uh, our chickens, uh, the, chicken, the rotisserie chickens that we're using now, uh, once again, Ohio chickens, they are no, no hormones, they're uh, uh, vegetarian feed, so we're really proud, and that's, that's the direction we're going with. The track tips are egg is beef, so as we do everything, is for, is for your guys' enjoyment. So I just want to take a quick, just a quick talk to say thank you. I hope you enjoy everything. If you haven't been to the brew house, please get there. If you haven't got the homemade donuts in the river time, what are you waiting for? I just want to thank you so much for all your support. Have a fun time this weekend.